Hello there. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer values from Excel file and assigning them to element type parameters or any other parameters. Why we need to do these through Dynamo script? We need to facilitate the job due to the complexity of data management, ensuring that we are attributing values correctly. We use Dynamo script to read structured Excel file uh, to get values from the Excel and attributing them to the parameters. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Dynamo 2.13.1 and Revit 2023. So let's get it started. Let's imagine that you have a structured Excel file in which you are going to have the values, in this case, these ones here, to attribute to these elements. Here, uh, in this case, uh, we are going to be using actually a, an example of the bill of quantity, name and codes columns here to be attributed to the family types. I'm going to be using the wall categories in this case, and I have already created um, two shared parameters assigned to the to the walls. Let me show you in the in the Revit. If I select one of my walls here, for example, and the type here in the data category, I'm going to have bill of quantity name and code. I've already created a wall schedule. As you can see here, through this Dynamo script, I need to actually fill them out uh, reading this Excel file. All right, let's fire up the Dynamo. Okay, I've got my Dynamo script here. All right, I'm going to go through this script step by step, but as you can see here, we are going to have three main blocks. The very first one is to uh, uh, getting elements to be attributed data. In this case, it was uh, actually the wall categories. All right. And then we need the uh, we need to read our Excel file and getting data from it. And then in the very last step, we need to assign data to the elements parameter. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, actually assign them directly. I'm gonna run the Dyna, uh, Dynamo script twice. Uh, because I need you to uh, see exactly what's going on um, through these uh, nodes here. Okay, for the first time, uh, I need to grab my BioCool file, Excel file here. I'm going to be using data.importExcel and the, the file from path. And uh, since we have just one sheet here, this is sheet one as a string, I'm going to have the uh, my name, uh, my sheet name here. So for the first run, uh, all we need, I've done here, let me run this script. Okay, since we started with the Excel file, let's go through these ones here. As you can see, I have my data from the Excel here. I need to transpose them to have a clean tree list. Those are related to my Excel file list, actually columns here, these three columns. as you can see. However, 
I'm grabbing the very first one, which is my header. I'm not need that, so um, I don't need that. I have to filter this out. So I'm going to use the um, uh, this node here, list.getItemAtIndex. Uh, I'm going to filter out my very first index, which is uh, zero here. And remove that from my list. So here, if I open this one here, as you can see, I ended up with actually eight values here. And if I go back to my Excel file, here you can see I have eight values. So since I need these values to be attributed in, to the uh, two different parameter, I need to split that. I'm going to use a code block, A in the square brackets, I'm going to use the zero value which I'm going to grab my very first list here. And the, for, the, uh, for the second list here, I'm going to have uh, the, the first list. And about the getting elements to be attributed data, here I'm going to be using walls. I have to grab actually wall elements. Here we have all the walls in our, in our model. Since I need the type, so I have to isolate just my types here. I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna be using list.unique items. Here it is. I ended up with actually nine type. All right, but in the Excel file I had eight type here. So I need to filter out one of them. The one which I am looking for to uh, to eliminate from my list is sh underscore curtain wall. So uh, this is a very uh, simple step to filter this out through a string that contains and a filter by boolean mask actually i'm telling dynamo to uh, exclude uh, this type from my list so as you can see here in, the, in my watch node i ended up with eight type here all right let's start the good part uh, here I showed you my um, parameters, which, which were uh, shared parameters. This one goes to parameter name, parameter name, and my values, which I separated them, are the uh, BOQ. Um, code and name. So I'm going to assign this one to my very first one, sorry, the second one, and here to the first one. And then my elements. Let me rescale my Dynamo window here to see what's going on in my schedule. All right, I need everything is connected. Yes, all right. Now, if I run this script, voila, I'm going to have my uh, values assigned to these parameters. All right, let's examine one or two one to see if everything is correct. So, for example, uh, about wall dash timber clad here. Oops. This one, this is the wood wall, and this is 0 0.002, which 
which is correct. And as you can see, uh, we excluded this curtain wall from our list. It's not going to have any values here. And if I go back to my plan views here and I select one of my walls and here I'm going to have my values um, assigned to these parameters. Here another one. It's a very handy sketch. It's a very handy script to assign multiple values to multiple uh, parameters. It's going to save your time, actually. I hope you enjoy it.